Hi, and welcome to Anderson's TV. My name's Colin. I'm Rob. And this is Sound Like Jay Weinberg from Slipknot. So, what's our budget, Sparrow? There isn't a budget, and we're using electronic drums. For the first time ever. Not only are we just using, just, uh, not only are we just using uh, electric drums, just, we're using the very same kit that he's just done in his recent videos for Roland. So yeah, with that, he had two bass drums, two modules, more toms. Yeah. Um, we have half of it effectively. So we had to tune, what was it? The hi-hat and the toms slightly differently because the modules were half one kit, half another. Just. Same sound, so we got there. Yeah, absolutely. So the tune that we're gonna do today is Unsainted, obviously by Slipknot, that would help. <laughs> <laughs> so check it out, right here. So it's not just 
sound like Jay Weinberg. It's also one of the percussionists with that gimpy little mask that I've made. <laughs> uh, Chris Fern, who's number three. Um, now, I, I'm really sorry, Roland, that I battered this kit with a couple of mallets, but it was so worth it. Um, to be fair, though, this kit stood up. You absolutely smashing yeah. it. Jay Weinberg absolutely smashing it. He's a hard it still hitter, works. isn't he? Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, congratulations, Roland. You've got a product that works. I think also um, I've got so much respect for him playing in a boiler suit. Because when I first tried, tried doing it, I was just like immediately within 30 seconds, like completely sweating. Yeah, and he also has pyros and other things going yeah. off. So Mad yeah. respect for the boy. So when we were tweaking the sound, we'd sort of listened to the Roland video and gone, oh, we, his snare it was, was a, a bit little different. Bit out, and The crash was a bit of a, the right hand crash was a, quite a bit of a problem. Yeah, so I tuned the crashes just by changing the EQ a bit and changing the size. So if you, if you like a sort of sample you like, so this one, which is 384, you can duplicate that but change the pitch and the size. So that's yeah. one way of cheating if you've got more than one crash. Um, Tom's yeah, as well. matched each other so much better once you've done that as well. So you yeah, really smashed that, dude. It was really, really good. The preset was obviously half the TD-17 module, half the 27, so it yeah. wasn't the right crash symbol until we'd done it. But Tom's as well, we tuned them because our floor Tom wasn't the kit that he had, so we had to tune the floor Tom a bit lower. So it's all in the module. It's super easy to do. You can change EQ curve, panning, anything. So just have a play with the module, really. Got like quick, uh, quick dials for the for the uh, tuning levels, things like that. Yeah, muffling. Um, so super like user friendly to use. So it's a wicked kit. I'm well impressed. So I hope you like that sound. Like we did sort of cheat a little bit because we used the exact kit he used the with the samples. same presets and the same samples. So I did find it's it, more your playing, really. I mean, I did find it a bit odd that this is the first one we haven't been able to pick our uh, acoustic kit, our cymbals, things like that, but. I think the cheating did make it a lot easier and using his exact samples was wicked. But we did um, take but, a standard VAD kit and then we added more crash symbols. So yeah. we have even added on to an expensive product. So exactly. So We, uh, we definitely been, smashed the budget. It's been wicked. I thoroughly enjoyed myself and I can't wait to take this off. So um, <laughs> I hope you guys at home are keeping safe and you enjoyed this uh, version of Sound Like. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I've been Colin. I've been Rob. And we'll see you next time.